7th July 2005, four bombs were detonated in London's main transportation network, killing 52 people. This time, they were done by homegrown terrorists. After the London 7-7 bomb attacks, the Singapore government launched the Community Engagement Programme, or CEP, in February 2006 to provide more integrated and comprehensive efforts in preparing the populace to be psychologically and socially resilient to terrorism. But Singapore's efforts at building ties between the various communities are often distracted by the continuing terrorist incidents overseas as they tend to turn the spotlight on the Muslim community. In November 2008, a group of terrorists launched brazen attacks in Mumbai, which stunned the world. The attack killed 170 people, including a Singaporean, Ms. Lo Hui Yen. The tragedy sparked off an outpouring of emotions among many fellow citizens of all races and religions. But I want to say that all Singaporeans, Muslims, Hindus, Christians, um, Buddhists, Chinese, everyone, they all saw that as uh, an act of crime, an act of terrorism. Uh, I don't think any Singaporean was happy about it, and I think all Singaporeans felt very sad about it. And I believe that there was a Singaporean spirit uh, when that lady uh, was killed. And that is the spirit of Singapore that will keep Singapore safe. Despite the heartening development, counter-terrorism efforts have to go on. Raising the psychological preparedness of the public in the event of a terrorist attack has now become a top priority. The arrest in 2007 of a Singaporean who is planning to train for militant jihad is a testimony of the ongoing threat of terrorism. The Singaporean was influenced by radical jihadist discourse and extremist teachings posted online by radical clerics. We have the uh, phenomenon of uh, internet radicalization. So although uh, Anwar al-Awlaki has been removed from the scene, there will be others like him. They are persuasive, they come on the internet, and they speak in English, which then has a wider reach to our population in Singapore. And we have had a number of people who have been influenced by that. Initiatives on the ground are therefore critical to tackle the threat. There were many initiatives from members of the different communities. One of the people who responded to the call was Mohammed Nasir from Simply Islam. He was listed as one of the 500 most influential Muslims 2009 and 2010 and is among those who play a crucial role in directing and shaping the face of the Singapore Muslim community through the use of social media and public forums to engage Muslims about the true teachings of Islam. We saw the, the need for us to present uh, an, an understanding of Islam that was clear and that was simple for the people. And we engaged with people of the young and old um, in discussing about Islam and we presented to them what really internationally renowned scholars, uh, um, what, they, what they say about uh, Islam, what they say about certain aspects of Islam so that people can really understand, have a better understanding of Islam. Singapore-based organisations like Mandaki, AMP and Taman Bachan have also rallied together to help family members of the detainees cope with the psychological impact of the detention. They're given help, ranging from counselling to financial assistance. The comprehensive approach has helped ensure that they'll remain integrated and become part of the mainstream society. We can see that uh, currently the family uh, willing to cooperate, uh, giving their best to the counsellors as well to the volunteers. They accept us, while compared at early stage, we didn't been welcomed by the families. I think um, um, the level of trust uh, that has been shown by the youths on the mentors have been very... Um, very high, um, and they've revealed a lot of their, their 
inner emotions, even to the things that they they did in school, which you know they wouldn't reveal to their teachers. Yeah, but they reveal to our mentors. Um, uh, but the whole idea is not to seek out such things, you know, uh, what they did, but really to give them the assurance that uh, whenever they need someone to um, share uh, their feelings with, uh, there is someone who is prepared to do that. The role of institutions like Singapore Muslim Religious Council is critical. Singapore's highest religious authority has to ensure the right knowledge is being passed down to Muslims at various levels of society. Apa yang dilakukan oleh MUIS inisiatifnya ialah dengan uh, senantiasa berusaha ya untuk mengembangkan, membangunkan, menyimak kembali dan mengemaskinikan uh, sistem pendidikan yang kita ada. Kita meyakini bahawa masyarakat terkesan dan terbentuk pegangan dan kefahaman agamanya daripada pendidikan yang disampaikan oleh para guru agama sama ada di masjid, di rumah-rumah dan sebagainya. We have revamped our religious education not because it was wrong but because we have to strengthen certain parts to ensure that there's no room for the kind of ideology that has been peddled by uh, you know the, the 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 people who has uh, adopted the terrorist ideology into our systems. But dealing with terrorism is an ongoing effort and the people need to be constantly reminded of the disastrous consequences if they put their guard down.